What's up guys, welcome back. Uh, I got another project which should be cool to film and watch. Most important, watch. Uh, it's a fixture plate. Smallest, no, maybe not, not the smallest one I made, but one of the smaller ones. This uh, aluminum plate is uh, 18 inches by four inches by one inch, and that's what we're gonna use. We will use uh, Mighty Bike clamps Pitbulls and Unifors, I believe they are called. And we also need to make four blocks for it. Uh, so while we have vices on the machine, we're gonna make these blocks. Then we'll take these vices off and we're gonna focus on the main plate. So uh, once we're done with that, at the end of the video, we're gonna load in our parts. I'll make a program and we'll run it on camera, see how it works. Okay, let's get to it. Okay, this little end mill, it's a 3 8 2 flute. We're gonna use it to do our counter bores. It has a little too much hangout from my last project. So we gotta fix that. I usually like to uh, check up my tools as short as possible. more rigid okay so we got four blocks that we need to make we'll make them in these step jaws hopefully we'll close enough to yeah we'll And before I pick up my offset, I want to scribe, scribe a line on it so I can load the other ones without need to pick up a new offset every time. So let's do that. I'm just going to load into this line right here. Okay. And then this cable is dragging on a chip guard. If you ever wonder why do I keep these on, even that I have the full enclosure, is so it keeps the coolant a little more contained so that the enclosure is not leaking as bad. Without them, it was terrible. Alrighty, picking up our offsets. Our X and Y will be the center of this block. They all cut are cut a little longer. I really like using pro using probes. Right now I'm drinking Red Bull while the machine is doing its thing. Let's load our program in. It's only two tools, letter F drill and a three quarter flat end mill, which we're gonna use to do our con counter bores. Except we're not gonna interpolate it. We will uh, chip, we, we will use a drilling cycle, that G73. And my golden formula for this, so I don't get, uh, Bird, bird's nests on the end mill is 3,000 RPMs with a feed of 30 and a pack of uh, 30 thousands. So 333. Three, three. Whenever I use that, I don't get any uh, chip buildup or uh, bird's nests on my tool. And it's uh, it's important when you run on when on one fixture I make about 60 counter bores. So you don't want you don't want to stop your end mill in the middle of the cycle just to clear out the chips. Okay, let's get to it. Died, so while this is charging, I'm gonna use my cell phone. I got three of those blocks done. This is the last one. And I uh, will do it on camera so you guys can see what's going on. Okay, let me get you. It's 
a really quick cycle. Hold on, why is this crooked? Okay. It's nothing really too exciting, but I'll show it to you guys anyway. That three quarter, two foot end mill. And that's it. Okay guys, we need to prepare this uh, main plate. As you can see, it's dirty. This will be our top side as it's more beat up. We'll face it off. This is more smooth. So uh, let's head over to the bench and send it down. Okay, so I just washed it. Let's get it dry and mount it on a fixture plate. Let me give you a closer look. Okay, so this is what the finish looks like. And the sides, and this ugly side will get faced. It's as long as my X travel but what we're gonna do is we'll use two dowel pins to align it and of course there's chips in it and the one that I need this is why a fixture plate plugs would be nice I didn't think about that when I was making this. this row. Okay, I got all the chips out. Put this in. First, we'll clamp it on the side. We're gonna mill out our pockets, open pockets for the side uh, clamp, toe clamps. Then we put these on, we'll take the side ones off and we'll face it and do all the rest of the milling and drilling. Okay. 
Okay, so I got an indicator in the machine. Let's see where we at with this plate. Uh-oh. It's terrible. That's not good. Either our plate is not against the double pins, or my entire fixture plate is crooked. Okay, so as you just seen, we have a lot of taper on this plate and we need to find out why so let me cut these loose let's do it again Uh oh. It's terrible. Okay, we need to troubleshoot that. To do that, I'm gonna put two more double pins because I don't know if the fixture plate is crooked or if this side is so bad. If it is, we're gonna have to mill it. Okay, I'm gonna put this against like double pins and I'll check it like that if my entire picture plate is crooked that's bad news it's really bad news I really don't know why it would move oh my god it is It was at this moment that he knew. He up. That is not good. So, here's what we're gonna do since I gotta cut it loose and adjust that. I'm just gonna take out the entire fixture plate, clean it, blow all these holes out, clean whatever is neat under the table, and then we'll put it back on. We'll get it in line with a spindle and move on with this project. That, that's, that was unexpected. I'm not happy about that. I wonder when it moved. I don't think I was making any fixtures. Oh, I was recently. I was making this knife fixture, which is probably off. And it's not going to work anymore. That sucks. Okay, I'm down to my last bolt, and I'll pick it up on camera so you guys can see what's underneath a fixture plate after a few months of use of usage. Come on, Dominic. Let's see what we got. Some bacteria growing. We can clean that up. I see a tiny bit of rust, but that's fine. It's not really that bad. I had it worse before. So uh, let me clean that up. We're gonna dial in that fixture plate. Make sure it's square with a spindle. I really don't know why it moved. Now it bugs me, but anyway. We're gonna dial in that fixture plate and we'll get back to our project. I use a wrench to clean up all the slots. Uh, let me grab the vacuum. Ok, 
Okay. And now, I'll put a T-nut in that slot and push it along. If you look, with my wrench, I pretty much got most of it. But now that I inserted a T-nut, look how much more chips will come out. You see that? It's way better. Okay, back to where we finished. I got everything cleaned up. The plate is mounted back on the table, the fixture plate. I already checked it, you know it's good, but let's do it on camera anyway. So it's, it's within five tenths. Let's see what we get. 1,000, oh no. I would say it's good. That needle is uh, jumping around, but right here, it's showing zero again. So it's within time and a half, oh, two thousands. Okay, I'll call it good. Oh, I already screwed up. I forgot to pick up my Z. That would be bad. So far, so good. I guess I can let it rip. Okay guys, so uh, I got these open pockets done. I moved clamp, I moved my clamps, and this hall right here is where my X and Y zero will be. Uh, what I'm gonna do right now is I'll pick my offset up, my X and Y with a Pro, and then we're gonna follow up with a coaxial indicator uh, to see how accurate the thing is. Our numbers. Our numbers are. Get you. Zoom. Focus. Okay, so we were off nine tenths on X and uh, one thousand and one tenth on uh, Y. So we'll make that our zero. I could probably get it closer, but there's no point. Okay, so now that just because I'll have to get so close to these clamps, I'm gonna face this off by hand. It might not look pretty, but it should get the job done.
Oh crap. Snapped it. God damn it. Uh. It goes good until it doesn't. Okay. That's one quarter twenty tap. Okay, so since our tab broke, I ran a uh, scriber. We got the logo and uh, the last two holes, I'm gonna tap by hand. I don't have another slab of aluminum to make this picture. This is my only shot. So uh, I'll just do it by hand. And this feels kind of tight. Even maybe my drill is dull definitely feels tight. Okay, uh, we're gonna do the pockets, then we will install our uh, blocks. These blocks, we're gonna install them on a fixture, like so. This is where that tab broke. And we're gonna drill them in the center then ream them to a 3 8 and we're gonna pound a 3 8 double pin in there. So we're gonna have two uh, bolts holding those blocks and then a double pin for extra security, except on this one since that tap is stuck in there. Okay guys, so I'm gonna install those blocks we made. So we can drill them while they are on the fixture and ream them. Okay, these blocks are still raw stock. We're gonna run a counter operation around them so, uh, so they clean up. This is a mirror, something looks off. Oh, no, it's just me. Okay, uh, let's do that right now. didn't touch any of these blocks on the left side. I wonder why. We can find out how off we were. Okay, so according to my number, crap, we are off by 16,000. That's a lot. I'm, go I'm gonna have to do something with that. Okay guys, so we made it. Here's the fixture. We got two 
bigger blocks, two smaller blocks, and two squares. We're going to run two at a time. And we made it. Uh, the summary of the whole project is this is not 6061. It's a different kind of aluminum, that's for sure. And it's not just because of that broken tap. Also, when all those end mills ran, they sounded different. So I'm not sure what's going on with this, but it's a good fixture. Uh, it's 3:30 in the morning, so I'm not gonna. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not even gonna try to program these parts. I guess uh, I'll do it some other time, probably tomorrow. Uh, thank you guys for uh, watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.